so uh, we're going to do a, a little bit of a, a variation of Kani Basami. It kind of starts like a Kani Basami and then it ends like a, a sideways Sumigayushi. Uh, and then we're going to transition directly into a, a leg triangle with some form of lower leg attack, whether it's an ankle lock, a reverse ankle lock, or a, an inverted heel hook. Whichever one you want to do, it's all there for you. And then normally we do this throw from this kind of position and we'll catch through and we'll hook right there to, to get kind of an anchor for our Kani, Kani Basami. We might also just put it up there, but a lot of times when you're faking with your Uchimate and he's kind of like bagging out, you need to catch something so that you can kind of get your, your base before you swing through. The difference here is I'm going to lace his leg. Okay, I'm gonna kawazugaki him if it's allowed, if it's not, I'm gonna get it as tight in as I can and just kind of swing my foot in nice and tight. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep my leg in real high and concentrated on this leg because that's where I wanna finish and wanna attack this leg. So if I'm in super tight like this with the kawazugaki or at the very least bringing that, that angle in tight, I've got his, his hip locked down. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing through. I'm going to post my hand so it's nice and slow for you guys, but normally we do it without the hand post. So we post the hand, we swing through, and see how my foot catches and it brings him right over there. And when I'm doing it at normal speed, usually we pick him up and over right about there, which allows me to come up and get that inside leg triangle. And at this point, his hip is pretty effectively locked slide back and we catch the ankle lock and you can see that it's stretching his hip as well. So his range of motion to actually trying to escape this is, is pretty limited. So it'd be a quick attack that way. A quick attack with the reverse figure four and then an extremely quick inverted heel hook. So be careful with it. His hip is not gonna move. So when I catch that, right in there like that. You can see how he's already starting to invert right there. It is a very quick heel hook. And that's mostly because I've locked his hip in this way. If his hip were out this way, it would be quick, but it wouldn't be nearly as quick. I'd have to work on it a little bit. And that's because his hip can move. When we're out here like this, it ain't moving. His hip is locked in nice and tight because I flexed it sideways. So it's a very, very quick you can actually see his knee right. a little bit when you do that. So if you're going to do that version of it, be careful. Maybe go here. Get a good high shoulder grip or German grip as I starting to call it. Get the lace nice and high on the hip. Because remember that's where I'm going to be transitioning to attack after this. Swing under. Okay. Catch him with the foot. See how I straighten that leg to kick his hip over sideways? That brings my other leg in. 